America's largest cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase Global Inc. has revealed its plans to delist Bitcoin SV, BSV, highlighting the next step for affected users. By the way, Bitru has successfully refunded its customers XRP tokens previously locked for the minting of Zahao token, ZA, following the end of the event. Join me guys as I make a comparison between Chainlink and Bitcoin regarding their year-to-date, YTD, gains. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates from the world of cryptocurrencies in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we extend a special welcome to you. We invite you to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, let's dive in. According to a screenshot shared by Alex Gladstein, the Chief Strategy Officer of the Human Rights Foundation, the delisting will come into effect on January 9, 2024. The market has started pricing in this news as Bitcoin SV's price has dropped 1.45% to $48.74. Coinbase made this announcement about two months before the proposed delisting time to give its users with BSV assets ample time to convert their funds. Coinbase said its BSV holders can start making withdrawals from this time until 12 p.m. Eastern Time on January 9. Users who refuse to convert their BSV by that time will have to face automatic liquidation. The trading platform said it will convert the remaining BSV assets into another supported cryptocurrency and deposit it into the user's wallet. However, the credited amount will be less due to the fees incurred. Coinbase also warned its users that failure to withdraw the asset by its stipulated January 9th deadline may attract unanticipated tax consequences. As it stands, the exchange confirmed it has halted deposit support for BSV, and attempts to send the coin to its platform may result in a loss of funds. The Bitcoin SV and Coinbase spat dated way back to August 2021 when Coinbase suspended the asset after recording a 51% attack. This attack comes into play when a group of bad actors gain control of at least 50% of the network's node infrastructure. This allowed them to confirm transactions to their benefit. It is worth noting that while the Bitcoin SV delisting appears targeted, this move is not uncommon among exchanges. From Binance to BitGet, Delisting non-functional trading pairs comes as a standard practice for these trading venues to maintain the integrity of their platforms. BSV has garnered a strong community of like minds to drive a robust ecosystem around the blockchain network. Its performance hit a climax on October 22 when the coin soared to its highest price for the year. Per earlier reports, BSV soared to a high of $55.50, setting a new pace for other altcoins like Ethereum Classic, etc., and Polkadot, Dot, to follow. As a fork of Bitcoin Cash, BSV occupies a pivotal role in the evolution of digital currencies with its mission to restore Satoshi's original vision. Bitcoin SV's market capitalization is $937,037,488, with a trading volume $54,880,280, up 35%. Well that's not all. The refund of customers' tokens, announced by Bitru yesterday on X, indicates that the Mint event was not successful amid prevalent concerns regarding the major difference in price between ZA, the native token of the new Zahao sidechain, and XRP. Recall that Zahao, an XRPL-based sidechain seeking to give users an early opportunity to leverage hooks, recently launched. Per its documentation, market participants can get ZA, the chain's token, by burning XRP tokens. The process, dubbed Burn to Mint, is a one-way flight. This means that any market participant that burns their XRP for ZA cannot get back the XRP tokens. In addition, the Zahao team confirmed that the burn to mint ratio will be a 1 to 1 proportion, suggesting that users get 1 ZA for every 1 XRP they burn. Concerns emerged regarding the burn to mint protocol, as some XRP investors expressed reservations about burning their XRP tokens. Amid these concerns, Ripple CTO David Schwartz endorsed the process, noting that it could drive demand for XRP. Also, Bitru opened up an avenue to allow its customers to burn XRP for ZA. The exchange launched a campaign on October 30, prompting users to lock up their XRP tokens and mint ZA. However, more concerns emerged when ZA began trading but had a much lower value than XRP. This would mean that users would be burning XRP to mint a token of less value. Nonetheless, it is important to note that the burn to mint ratio of 1 to 1 remains intact, as users will always get 1 ZA for 1 XRP. However, 
While XRP now trades at $0.68 cents due to its recent uptrend, ZA currently changes hands at $0.21 cents over three times less than the value of XRP. The emerging concerns stem from the fact that some market participants might want to convert back their ZA to XRP when ZA trades on exchanges. However, should this occur, the resulting value would be much less than what they initially had. Customers took to social media to lay complaints. Amid the comments and the reality of the situation, Bitru decided to suspend the Mint event and refund its customers their XRP tokens. Individuals such as Schwartz have noted that they would rather wait and trade XRP for Zahao on exchanges instead of burning. Now to the big question of the day. Is Chainlink the new Bitcoin? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings in the crypto space. Top market analyst Hitesh.ev recently compared Chainlink and Bitcoin per their year-to-date YTD gains. While Chainlink has soared by 128% to date, Bitcoin's YTD growth comes in at 110%. Despite the bullish similarities between them, as pointed out by the analyst, Chainlink is still lagging in some areas. So, where does Chainlink need to rev the throttle? Well, Chainlink's growth YTD has outperformed those of its peers in literal terms. However, when placed side by side with Bitcoin, this growth does not necessarily translate to wallet profitability. According to the accompanying into the block chart posted by Hitesh.ev, the percentage of Bitcoin holders in profit is 79%, dwarfing the 54.96% of Chainlink. Address profitability in this regard refers to wallets whose combined portfolio valuation is higher than the purchase price of the tokens. Riding on these dynamics, approximately 366,490 link addresses are in the money, with the break-even price pegged at the $12.41 to $13.60 price range. Chainlink already crossed this price point as link, benefiting from the intense whale action. This price uptick has been bolstered by sustained adoption, with 27,152 wallets now holding at least 1,000 LINK, as reported earlier by the Crypto Basic. However, amid the favorable price movements, Hitesh.ev believes Link will face a major supply block in the $16 to $27 range, a level he predicts will also form a major resistance for the token. Currently, Link's trading volume is up 20.21% to $839,855,513, with its price rising 2.73% to $12.89. Should this buying momentum remain and Link soar toward the upper end of the resistance zone at $27, the analyst is optimistic its profitability ratio will surpass 80%. Besides what the technicals show about Chainlink's potential, the decentralized Oracle service provider has rich fundamentals to back its resilience and growth in the long term. Part of these fundamentals is anticipating the release of the staking version 0.2 upgrade, slated to go live later this year. With plans to introduce, unbonding mechanism, and liquid rewards, among other innovations, Chainlink is setting Link up for a massive accumulation. The novel cross-chain interoperability protocol, CCIP, protocol also marks another ammunition in Chainlink's arsenal to drive new users and cement its growth projections. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section. Write us anything down here, we are very eager to read you. Always remember that you are an important part of our community. With that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible, let's get this news everywhere. See you in a future opportunity to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community. Thanks for watching.